Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Today is October 4th and it is Whip Weekend number 128. I um, am doing this a little later. I was just sluggish this morning, had an extra coffee and just, you know, putzed around for a little while after my husband left and um, thought I better get this done. I've got things to do this afternoon. So, uh, grocery shopping. So uh, let's start how my week went. I had a fabulous time at the banquet. I'll put a couple pictures up here. Uh, one is of uh, me and my husband at the banquet and then we were uh, at my house here. Hello little girl. She showed up again. Um, and we had a pre-party here where we had a few cocktails and uh, some little hors d'oeuvres. Uh, stayed here for a couple hours and then went to the banquet. Uh, we had so much fun. I danced the night away and my legs were so sore Sunday morning. So Sunday, Colin and I had a very, very relaxing day. I think we even stayed in our loungewear jammies till about one o'clock. And um, that was all we did, actually. I made a nice roast beef dinner and um, just... I did a little bit of crocheting. I uh, started on uh, another, I, I, whoops, you okay there? She fell over. <laughs> My cat sometimes. <laughs> um, so yeah, Sunday was nice and relaxing. And then I was shocked. I went to wake my husband up because he wasn't getting out of bed Monday morning. And I said, uh, it's quarter to nine. Don't you have to go to work? And he goes, no, it was. And I didn't even know this. It was national day of truth and, um, reconciliation. And, um, it's a new federal holiday that we have to honor, uh, the, uh, native people of Canada. So, uh, he stayed home and we, she's in crinkly, uh, plastic over there. She loves it. If you can hear that crinkling in the background, and uh, we uh, spent, I'm going to say, most of the day outside in the garden, cleaning up a little bit, getting rid of some of the old hanging pots and everything. I put some mums out and uh, started decorating for the Halloween season. So uh, that's starting up. I'm still not quite finished. I, uh, I will be doing the rest of that this week. And that's about it for Monday and Tuesday. I released my book cover inspiration video and we have a new book and I hope you, uh, I will link it below the video. I hope you can join in and make something of the colors from the book. And from what people are saying, every message I got, it's an amazing book. I've never read it. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Wednesday, I had to have an ultrasound. Uh, they did an ultrasound of my kidneys and my my bladder to see what's going on there because I'm having issues with uh, UTIs. So uh, hopefully I haven't heard back from the doctor yet. I'm probably <clears throat> probably thinking early next week I'll hear from him. And then yesterday was Thursday and I decided that it's, start, it's starting to get a little cool out. Not too, uh, not too cool. Like I'm, I'm still wearing, I wear sleeveless most of the year. And this is a uh, a top that I made. I just designed it myself. I just, you know, took the width and I did uh, double crochets and then, is that double? Yep, double crochets. And then I did the cross stitch every uh, uh, so often. So, and it was just two rectangles and I just decreased. The first time I made it, it was way too thin. So then I decreased every row. Till about here, I think, and then just let it go up straight. Um, a few videos back, probably beginning of summer, I made this, so uh, I'm loving it. Uh, I've worn it a few times. I have not washed it yet, but um, hopefully I, it was made out of a 24-7 cotton yarn, and um, it feels really nice on. It's not itchy. It's not scratchy or anything like that so like when you're working with uh, the 24 7 it, it feels really scratchy in your hand like a rough cotton but uh, when, once it's uh, crocheted up it feels really good on the body <coughs> excuse me so you know I thought okay it's time to make some comfort food so I spent uh, all day Thursday 10 pounds of potatoes and uh, 
and I made shepherd's pie. And it's a long process. I started at 9.30 in the morning. I don't think I got finished till like 2 in the afternoon. Colin, I had one. And here's a picture of the leftovers. We're going to give one to uh, each of, of the kids for their families. So it's enough for four people in each container. So uh, I did that. And um, that was my whole day done. But uh, I, my husband loves shepherd's pie, and I know my kids do, and so do uh, Tawny and the boys. So uh, when I make food, I always make a lot of it, and I always give it to the kids. I figure, you know, they're both working moms. They need a little bit of help, so I'm home now, and I can do that. And next week, I'll probably make ziti, which is a baked pasta dish, and I'll make enough for probably six dinners or so, and the girls will get... Uh, a dinner of that each too for their families uh, and let's see what else has happened uh, like I said today Friday I'm gonna go out grocery shopping and that's about it and then tomorrow I got a call first thing this morning like at nine o'clock in the morning from the dentist um, I need a crown put in and they called and said there was a cancellation tomorrow at 9 15 could I make it and I said well I hadn't gotten one of the estimates back from the insurance and uh, she clicked away on her computer, said, yep, it's covered. What's not covered on your plan is covered on your husband's plan. So I'm going to go get a crown tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to getting the crown so I can, um, I'm not allowed to floss on this side of my mouth yet. So once I get the crown in, then I can get back to my regular dental uh, uh, cleaning and flossing. So that's it for my life next week. I think the only thing I'm going to be doing is one day next week. I'm not even sure which day. I'll be going with my dad into Hamilton and he's got a uh, specialist appointment. So I'll be going out there with him just to keep him company. And it's an old hospital that we're going to. And I'm worried that he won't be able to walk the whole thing. So that way I can push him in a wheelchair if he gets tired. So those are my plans so far for next week. And that's about it. That's my uh, phone going off. Sorry about that. So let's start with our whips. So I am working on a paint by number, as usual. And um, there you go. I think it's better on this side. Yeah, so I've started on this one. It's purples and everything. And I'm probably halfway done this one. So it will probably be done by next week. I just love doing these. I actually ordered some more from Amazon because this is, I've got one more of the uh, the flowered ones that I'm doing. And uh, then I'm out of uh, paint by numbers. So uh, I ordered some on Amazon. Should be coming today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm not in a rush for that. And then my cross stitch, I... I put in, I'm going to say six or seven hours this week of cross stitch and it's never ending. I don't know if I'm going to get this done. I am trying my hardest to get this done for Halloween. Uh, there you go. There's still like, you can see most of it, but like in every little section, there's like one of one color and then another of another color. So it's a lot of fiddling to do now. I don't have anything big left to do. So I'm hoping by next week I can have it done. I am going to put, uh, I'm going to devote a lot of time to this because I really want to get it framed and uh, in my Halloween decorations. But uh, I'm so pleased how it turned out. And I'm looking in the screen and you can see it pretty well. Uh, this says trick or treat. And it's just all different Halloween items. And the uh, I was shocked because I had no idea how this was going to turn out. But this turned out really well where it says Halloween on the 31st. So uh, I'm really happy the way it's coming along. It's been, I've been doing it in the needles for, this is my second year working on it. And it's going to get done. So I'm going to devote a lot of time to it. I don't, this is my uh, thread that I have. And like some of these here, like it was really, really thick. So. I'm almost done and I'll have a lot of extra threads and um, I give the extra threads to my daughter because she makes friendship bracelets. I'm sure you've seen them on my wrist. I haven't put them on today, but uh, Paige likes them and Amanda likes them. So uh, she's been working on some uh, bracelets and she found all the uh, 
the patterns on YouTube. So I give her the extra floss. And then the next item is the knit hats. I didn't work on the knit hats at all. So we're at the same position. I'm working on my third one right now. And then my knit sweater. Where is that? I'm almost through my first ball for my knit sweater. I've got this much left of the first ball. I do have six balls, so I'm going to have more than enough. I think it's probably going to take four. But um, this is how far I've gotten. I was here last week, so I did two full sections. And I love the color. It's a deep, deep color, and I really like uh, the burgundy in it. It almost shows up like brown, but it is a burgundy color probably right about there the color so I'm enjoying this it's an easy knit but knitting takes so long and it's a very simple pattern and the pattern is let me look down here sorry did I write the pattern down it's mama in in a stitch mama in a stitch dot com and I will link that below if you uh, want to go check that pattern out and it's a uh, free pattern so uh, that's my knitting and like I said, uh, I'm using Premier Anti-Pilling Yarn. I just want to get used to knitting before I start using a wool. And plus, uh, this is anti-pilling, so I'll be able to wear it a lot. And I wear these. It's going to be the same, you know, basic design as this and um, with a boat neck. And um, I wear a lot of these in the winter time, and then just throw a sweater over top if I get cold, which I don't that often. As girls that have a little extra... Uh, weight on us uh, we don't tend to get cold that often so uh, and I'm usually in uh, leggings or uh, capri pants even in the winter time if I'm not going out so uh, that top will be perfect for the winter time also and what else have I been working on? I uh, picked out my yarn and picked out a pattern for my book cover inspiration. I made one of the squares. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use all the colors in the book because I kind of like the way the square looks right now. So you'll see that on the or in and around the 15th. I'll uh, <clears throat> excuse me, put out a video for the book cover uh, inspiration. And I'm working on Paige's sweater now. So uh, it is a pattern by MJ Off the Hook. I just love it. I made. Uh, a sleeveless uh, top for myself, a sleeveless top for my Amanda, and a few sweaters for both Amanda and Paige. So uh, with Paige, she's not quite as big as the small. So I just do uh, eliminate uh, one line in the uh, yoke here. So it starts off at the top with a, a rib. And this one's going to be a bit big on her, but she's got so many that fit her right now that I thought in the winter time, you know, she can snuggle up into it. So that's as far as I got. Um, probably more than halfway down for her size. And then all I have to do is work on the sleeves. And the sleeves are really good. This pattern is fabulous. It's like you, you don't... You really don't have to think like, you know, in the arms, she decreases. She's got a couple ways I'm doing it every second row, decreasing a stitch. So uh, I really love this pattern and this yarn is churning out so well. And I finished um, what was remaining from Amanda's sweater, the first ball. I still got two more balls upstairs and uh, I'm going to have more than enough to finish the sweater. So that's what... Uh, crochet I'm working on right now and uh, like I said I haven't been working on any of my mouths that I usually do during the month because I've got lots of uh, uh, blankets uh, wheelchair lap gans to uh, donate this year so I thought I'm gonna start and focus on my family and do a few things for Christmas so this will be a Christmas present uh, for her and her mom and I've also been working on my knit socks. Excuse me one moment. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is really dry and I don't even have a drink here. I'm going to pause you and go get a little sip. One moment. And I'm back. I got myself some soda water. I used to be a Diet Coke diehard. I drink two liters of Diet Coke a, uh, a day. So I've switched to a soda stream machine, which just adds some bubbles to my uh, water that I use uh, from my Brita machine. So I'm supposed to be healthier for me, but I can't tell the difference. 
So back to my socks, which I'm keeping in this little bag, which I love. I crochet so I don't choke people. Save a life, send yarn. I just love this. And I bring this everywhere with me now. So I've been working on the socks. And I definitely do not like doing two at a time. But I do like the magic loop. So I split them. And I have two on magic loop. One's a... One of the needles are a little bit longer than the other, but that's okay. So I have um, started on the decreases in the gusset. I haven't got much of this. Like I said, I do these in the morning when I'm watching my videos, and um, I've been concentrating on uh, my cross stitch. So these didn't get much loving, but um, I'm almost through the decreases, and um, then the straight foot so these are for me and I will be starting another pair once these are done for Amanda so my uh, the pattern I use is um, the vanilla sock by the crazy sock lady and she goes through it step by step and it's so easy to follow even if you're a beginner you can do these because she's just so good at what she does and uh, teaches really well so I will be probably doing uh, socks in tandem from now on so you know like I'll do the uh, ribbing on this one and then I'll do the ribbing on this and I'll do 10 rows here and 10 rounds and 10 rounds on this sock because uh, I didn't like them together it I just found it fiddly when I was out and about so it's easy just to pull out one of them and work on it so that's what I've been doing but um haven't gone anywhere this week except for the uh, the uh ultrasound appointment and um, I started and they called me in right on time so I was really pleased because I had to drink so much water I was so worried <laughs> so uh, I probably I didn't even get one round done at uh, my appointment there so that's my socks that I've been working on and I believe that's it for my whips I'm working on not sure what I'm going to start next, but maybe a blanket because uh, Paige of Sweater will probably get done this week. So let's move on to my finished items. So my finished items are, and my diamond painting, here it is. I've been working on little compact mirrors for the girls for Christmas. And the last one I have here is... Uh, a little heart compact mirror so uh, there you go and this one's gonna be for Paige at Christmas time I have four of them so uh, all the girls will be getting one at Christmas time and this one turned out really cute and uh, Paige will love it because she loves looking at herself and she loves videoing and hopefully uh, she'll be well she will be here uh, second last week of October so in a couple more weekends her parents are going camping with uh, another couple and um, hopefully I can put a video out with her because she just loves doing the videos. So once I've done completing the uh, putting the diamonds on, I do coat it with a special I'm sealant, let's call it a sealant uh, that um, just helps these uh, stay on and then it takes the tackiness away from everything. So uh, I love the way these are turning out. So <clears throat> I also ordered from Amazon another diamond painting because I'm almost finished the diamond painting. I have my um, coasters to do for Christmas and I thought, okay, let's order something else too. So I did that. Maybe I'll do a, a video of the stuff I ordered from Amazon sometime this week. So that uh, is one of my finished items. And the other finished item, I call it a finished item. I haven't sewn in all the ends. I've sewn in most of them. But uh, it was getting late. I was tired last night, so I didn't finish it. So this is my daughter's sweater. And it's quite long on me. It uh, goes past my bum, but my daughter is six foot. And I'm, I used to be 5'9", I'm 5'8 now. So, But everything else um, were the same size. So uh, it's, once again, MJ off the hook pattern. And the nice thing about this is... When you get to here and you add in your extra change for under the arm, you can try it on and see if it fits. And um, her and I are the same size, so uh, we uh, I can try it on without her even noticing. So the arms on this are quite long on me, 
but they will be perfect for her. I think she's got another couple inches uh, on me for the arms. And then I, I did it so it's like covers my, my butt, and, but it will be higher up on her. So it'll be perfect. So that is the sweater there. And the colors are spectacular. Uh, it's a CJ Brett uh, yarn and um, discontinued, but I got it uh, for a really, really good price, 75% off. And I had enough to do the two of them. So uh, we will, hello. Yeah. So uh, they get matching uh, sweaters. So that was my only finished item this week, uh, but I've uh, been quite busy. And um, hopefully I will get Paige a sweater done and then I can start on some new projects. Oh, little Missy wants it on me. Let me back up a little bit. Coming to say goodbye. Yeah. So uh, I've had a busy week and, and down she goes. <laughs> and next week, uh, I hope it's not going to be busy. I just got the one day to go with my dad and um, hopefully I can get some uh, good crafting done in that time. So that's it for now. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Get your whips all completed and um, I will see you uh, next time. Bye for now. Yeah.